My husband says I don't but her over something that felt so innocuous at the time when I shared it. I was working on this episode. I was interested in, I, I have been interested in the psychological immune system of women and men and the online world and social media. And I specifically wanted to lean into women that are getting a lot of work done. Obviously, the people getting work done has exploded over the years, and it was not so popular 20 years ago. Now it's very popular. I have tons of friends who get work done. I do not hate on women getting work done whatsoever, but I was curious as to whether or not women that get work done were getting it done for men. So obviously, I thought a good question, a good starting place for this investigation would be me asking men if they think that women that get work done, if it's appealing to them, if they find it attractive. And so I wrote... Serious question for men. Do you think that Botox filler, fake lips look is attractive? Do you envision a long-term relationship with those girls that look that way? Male opinions only, please. Working on a show about social media mutating our appetites. Male opinions only, please. Ha ha, that was a sick joke. Women came in instantly and angrily. They were like, no, 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 no. This question is too vague. This question needs to be more specific, Candace. Men don't even know when we get a little bit of Botox. They don't even know what they like. Like, you need to be more descriptive because if a woman gets a little bit of Botox, they can't even tell. It's just a little maintenance. And the thing is, is I think men understood the assignment because they all came back and said they didn't like it. I mean, I am talking 99.98% of men in the comment. Now, family, I got to stop it right here just for a second because this, to me, I'm assuming there was more white women who gave backlash based off of what she was saying to Tucker Carlson on, you know, how did this get so far? Now, for me, I heard black women. This was what it reminded me of Kevin Samuels when he was trying to explain to black women that you're going out here and you're getting all of these surgeries, you're going to put these wigs on, you're going to get you know, all of this, you know, makeup and things like that. You don't wear natural hair. You know, you wear clothes that, you know, again, are for females to look at. And the men don't want this stuff. And black women were so surprised or they were so reminded that it's true. Most of what black women are doing today, they're doing it for other black women and they're doing it for themselves. It's not for the men. And when the men was polled as well, the men was like, no, we don't like the lace fronts. We don't like the nails. We don't like the eyelashes. But, but notice that some women thought that men were so dumb. They were so horny. They were so busy that they wouldn't even notice. So why are you bringing it up? Like you're almost exposing us. And I don't know if I took it that way. And I also got more offended that women would believe that we don't know what we want and that we are okay with a lot of things without consulting us but again it's your body you do what you want but i just thought it was interesting and i didn't see the white component in it as much as i saw the black component and it made me just think of kevin samuels but if i'm gonna ask the question if i'm being asked the question no i would prefer not to have the botox you know what i'm saying because i mean yeah you're gonna look how you feel but it's your it's your body it's your deal but if you're asking me what do i feel then i'm gonna tell you no i don't want it and both on Instagram and on Twitter said, no, we don't like it. Women just could not accept or believe that answer. It was just really bizarre watching how angry women were getting in the comments trying to justify having this work done. They were going, well, you go look at the, the follows of those men. They all follow these girls that look like porn stars. Okay, fair commentary back, but why don't we just believe men when they're telling you that they don't like the overdone look? And I think some men clarified, yes, you know, I assume that these girls have low self-esteem, that they're trashy, and that they could be good for a hookup, right? But I don't want to make her my wife, which means they understood the assignment that I was asking them because I just wanted to know if they're into that look. And usually, typically women will say, my husband says I don't need it, my husband says he doesn't like it. And these other women that were, for some reason, answering this question, <laughs> even though I only asked men, were basically arguing that, well, they prefer women that look younger. But men were saying... No. Believe it or not, black women are getting almost more Botox or second to uh, white women. So this is not a color thing at this time. This is just going for a look. So just like they did with breast augmentation as it became a new thing and breast enhancements now. So that's what, I, that's what I'm getting from this. That a lot of women are using things that they may not necessarily need and they're doing it because... 
You know, it's a look. Like, everybody's doing the eyelashes, whether they need them or not. You know what I mean? It's just a look. And they feel that there's a vibe that comes with that look. A man, when he sees big, fully, you know, nice eyelashes and whatnot, or breastuses, or, you know, maybe even a bow tie. He sees, you know, fuller lips and whatnot. He's thinking sexually. Like, wow, my my Johnson feels great on those lips. You know what I mean? And, and that's also negative because, again, it's like saying that these women have to enhance themselves in order for us to be attracted. And attractive um attracted actually is more of a mind thing and for black women specifically um I, I i just feel like their confidence is so low they're not feeling like they can compete with white women in many different ways and they're going out and get it and then a lot of black women that are getting this uh botox mainly their reason is because they was obese laughing at white women no disrespect and other women who have to probably go get this done maybe hispanic women or whatever um now you are getting Botox for a different reason now because you gained so much weight and the skin has been so damaged and the cells and whatnot. So now, and that was the, 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 the point I was making. I was dating or talking to a black woman who was taking Botox. And once we actually engaged each other and got to know each other, then she dropped it on me. And then the more I look at her, I go, oh my God, I can see the Botox. If she would have never said nothing, I would have never known. It's true. I will give you that. But when she said it, and I started to look at her both times, I'm like, God. Now, what gets her in trouble, Kansas, is she says some of these women are starting to look like each other, which made Fox News turn her calls and say, well, you know what, shit, you ain't lying. Now, this could be a good thing. What's in a Botox? Does it alter your features? Obviously, yes. But does it make everybody look t t uh, the same? That is something, believe it or not, I think Candace might have just said, oh, that might be a good thing. I don't know. I will see. But we're going to talk a little bit more about this Botox thing because it is an issue where now uh, we're talking about 40% or 45 and higher percent of black women. And that's what's on record. We believe it's more like 60% of black American women who in the last three decades was completely overweight more than anybody else in this world, second to Hispanics and others. They have started using Botox, and black men did not know this. And so, so many black women are starting to look the same. I noticed it, too. I just didn't know what it was. And a lot of us were saying we couldn't tell the transgenders apart from actual black women. And I can't now. I mean, I have to look for a woman that I I, const I knew that's a woman. Okay? And I still got to do a little bit of extra shit just because I believe so many black women are on Botox just as much as they on um uh the doggone um you know eyelashes and whatnot and now black men who are transitioning and all women too who are trans transitioning most of them are on Botox. See there's a lot coming out with this thing man. It's not just about Botox, it's an actual real deal. You would be surprised this is number three on most used things by black American women that are not natural products that they used to be using. From eyelashes, like I said, to breast augmentations, and now Botox. And now Botox is used, I'm hearing, with, uh, in so many ways. To fix your eyebrows. Now it's being used to enhance your ears and your nose and your lips and your, your neck and your, you know, your... I mean, it's, it's an interesting deal. I want to know a little bit more about it. But this is the storm behind Candace. I can't believe 